Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. No hay quórum todavía. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to wait a few minutes, but. Andan celebrando this universe, Nicaragua. Yeah, that is true. Nicaragua for the first time, right? Yes. <clears throat> okay, let's wait just two or three more minutes. Yes. Pero qué sentirán las mujeres, digo yo, cuando dicen esa es de las más bellas y, y ellas no se parecen a esa. Imagínate qué terrible va. Yeah, that's kind of strange, right? <laughs> yes, I listen in the program in the radio. It's critical. Critical and the negative. Yeah, it's, it's very difficult. I believe that women are very competitive, so. Yes, it's na nature. It's natural and, and don't like and com com competitors. Yeah. No, no, it's... Uh, no, it's the problem. It's subliminal. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> Tiene mucho que ver con la madurez emocional. <laughs> that is true. Uh, I don't know why. I mean, I, I know that it doesn't matter the age. Women are always competitive. Women don't like other women. <laughs> It's the it's country not. Africa is uh, Eritrea. I, I know, I know it's, uh, it's sure is the, the woman is big. It's Taya LXL, the women. Mm. It's yeah. the beautiful in the, around the world. That is true. So depending on yeah. the culture. Yeah, it's the culture. Yeah, it's true. Aquí es esa muñeca Barbie con la que vinieron a fregar eso. <laughs> yeah, probably. Something like that. <laughs> yes. Ahí está, Miss Universe. Yeah. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be here with you once again. This is Monday. Next Monday, we will finish uh, the module. Very good. Imagine. So you are closer and closer to that trip to New York. So let's see what happens. Uh, remember to move on with the platform. Uh, this weekend, we need to finish everything. Okay. This weekend is the last weekend. And Monday, we're going to do, remember that you are going to receive the, uh, the survey uh, for Insaform. So that is something that we are going to do together uh, this next Monday. Teacher. And, yep. Yep. Eh, Podría ver si, si nos ayudaba ahí con unas, con unas dudas. Okay. En la plata, en la okay. tres puntos, oh, ya le digo cuál era. Uh -huh. 3.7 creo que era. Después del midterm. Ok. 3.7, donde hay que seleccionar. Ahí no hay que escribir, sino que seleccionar. No, no. no creo que es otra. No, ya le digo, voy a entrar aquí. Quiero ver cuál era. Ok. 
es ahí por la 3, pero no, no la recuerdo muy bien. 3.5. Creo que esa es una que hay que, hay que rellenar este, los cuadritos. Mm, ok, let me just Vamos check. Ahorita voy para allá. Progreso. Iniciar sesión. Ok, vamos a ver. Esta creo que es 20. Sí, creo que está. Ah, 3.5, yes. Ok, déjame revisarla rapidín. En honor a los presentes. Of course, of course. <risa> Sobre los signos de puntuación, creo que es. Yo pensaría que sí, ahorita la estoy tratando de terminar, ya les digo. ¿Tú ya lo hiciste, José? No, no pude, hasta ahí llegué. Sí, hombre. <risa> The problems ahí. Tiene sus cascaritas, decíamos en la universidad, ¿no? That is true. <risa> Check. Va, ya la hice. Vamos a ver. Eso. Uh, we'll show you here. Okay. So, is this one? And yes, the punctuation is very important in this exercise. So, uh, it says read the warehouse issues below, apply the corresponding punctuation. So, uh, the first one says we remove items from cartons and packages or sloppy. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, this is the one. So, the answer is like this. Uh, we remove items from cartons and packages. Eh, ese semicolon. Fíjense que aquí creo que el espacio es el problema. Creo que si lo pongo con espacio, como debería de ser. Sí, ahí ya no me lo da. Entonces, ah. aquí está el truco, miren. A este no hay que ponerle espacio. Si usted le pone espacio no se lo agarra. Pero si no le pone el espacio después del punto y coma, ese es error, ¿verdad? La plataforma no es así. Uh, as a result, coma, ahí sí lleva el espacio, ¿verdad? Pickers are not able to find them when they need to, period. Uh, ese period también es importante. Entonces, el error acá es que después de uh, esta packages, se pone el column, el semicolon y no hay espacio, sin espacio. Okay. Y luego ponemos as a result, coma, y ahí sí hay normal espacio. Y al final, tenemos que poner el period, y se lo va a tomar. Vamos a ver number two. The vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. <coughs> el semicolon, aquí sí lleva el espacio, normal. Consequently, coma, we have to waste time to open the box, coma, count the items and re-box them, period. Acá hay que tener cuidado con este guión. El guión tiene que ser exactamente el símbolo que el guión, porque hay unos que se parecen. Y se le pone a uno que se parece, no se lo agarrará. Entonces, con ese tenemos que tener cuidado y con el period. The last period is very, very important. So, remember, it's going to be a single box, semicolon, space, consequently, comma, and then we have to waste time to open the box, comma, and then at the very end, oh, aquí okay, lo, lo, lo arruiné. At the very end, it's going to be the period. So that will be it. Let's okay. check now number three. The warehouse doesn't have, aquí también con los negativos, este doesn't, el este apóstrofe, también hay un símbolo que se parece, pero que no es el apóstrofe. Si no pone cabal que es, se lo pone mal. Uh, doesn't have enough ducks, semicolon, space, right? Therefore, comma, We have to put products in the eels. P. 
superior. Entonces, chequeamos este Teacher, otra vez. Ajá. Teacher, uh, what is the, the number of the exercise? That we are This doing? is 3.5. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Ajá, que hay que definir as well. Ok, sí hay que ir avanzando, ¿verdad? Ya la otra semana, el fin de semana, hay que terminar toda la plataforma. So, it's very important. Ok, so, take, again, a dozen, remember the apostrophe has to be the correct one. Have enough ducks, semicolon, and then the space. Therefore, comma, and then period at the end. That is very important. And number four, the count viewer belt broke, period. As a consequence, comma, <clears throat> there is not enough staff to put arriving packages away, period. So this is kind of easy. Just remember that in this one is going to be broke, period, space, as a consequence, comma, and then at the very end, period. No space. Si deja un espacio de más, al final también no se la da. And the number five, we have a mouse in the house, period. Therefore, comma, we should get a cat, period. So, house, period, and space. Therefore, comma, and space. And then at the end, period, no spaces. Okay? If you do it this way, look at this. It's going to be everything green. Okay? So that is the exercise. Good. If you have any other questions, let me know. And, of course, we can check. Okay? Aja, había otra, pero si ya le digo cuál era. Vamos a ver cuál es la otra. Vamos a ver, aquí está. Creo que está. Siempre de la tres. Creo que es más adelante. Ah, aquí, aquí creo que está. Vamos a ver, cuatro. Ah, ok, es la 4.9. Ah, la última. Creo que sí es la última. Va, eso todavía no lo hemos visto, pero chequeamos. Anyways, let me just okay. check. Uh, en eso se asuman más compañeros. Of course. Yeah. Esta está fácil. Lo, lo que pasa es que, ajá, como les digo, no, no la hemos visto, ¿verdad? Pero el nombre, o sea, lo que tenemos ahí en pantalla es el verbo. Y luego el nombre es, es un poquito diferente. Sí, lo terminé yo, teacher. Vale, perfecto. Esto es como, ¿se acuerdan? Work y worker. Así de fácil es. ¿Ya? Okay. Entonces, por ejemplo, tenemos manufacture y esta va a ser manufacturer. Supply va a cambiar a supplier. Distribute va a cambiar a distributor. Manage va a cambiar a manager. Retail va a cambiar a retailer. Entonces, es exactamente ese mismo ejemplo como cuando decimos work, worker. Perfect. Very good. Nice. Do you have any other questions? Nice. That was clear. Nice. Clear for me, teacher. <laughs> Very good. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, wherever you have a question, let me know. And of course, we can check. Sometimes there are some errors in the platform, and so... It's important to check those and, and also to report so they can fix it. Okay, we're going to start with the attendance. So, Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here. Good. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. I'm here. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodriguez. Ernesto Jose Andrade Medina. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. Jose Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. 
María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Perfect. So, yeah, we were speaking with Rene before. Sure. Uh, the, you yes. didn't mention me. Really? I'm sorry. O sea, Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we will... present, present. Okay, Jose Alfredo, got you. Yeah, here. Yeah. Nice. Very good. So, we were speaking uh, with Rene today earlier about the uh, the final of Miss Universe, right? So Nicaragua was the winner. So what do you think about that? It was good. It was not good. I don't know. Do you have any opinion on that one? I saw a very nice meme that it says, we give you the Miss Universe, Nicaragua, so you give us back the ex-president, right? So <laughs> that was very funny. Yes, Thailandia. 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 It's very... Thailandia. And she was the, the second finalist, right? She was the, the one that it was the yeah. second place. Yeah. Thailandia. ¿Cuál otra era? Uh, Colombia. Colombia. No. Colombia. No. no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like the winner. I'm sorry. Muchas, muchas dice Nepal, Nepal, porque se parece. Que Nepal, Nepal. Yeah, she was very popular. Se parece yeah. a mí, decían una gente. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Identified. Es, yeah. Affinidad. Affination. Eh? Okay, so the good thing is that that was historical, right? Because as I remember, uh, it's the first time that Nicaragua wins this universe. A Central America girl, right? Never won that. Uh -huh. okay. okay, let's see what happens. Uh -huh. Nicaragua is favorite de muchos. Era la favorita. Really? Ah, Honduras. Yeah. Honduras yeah. era también en, en las redes sociales. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Uh, it, we'll it's beautiful. Beautiful woman, smart. It's, it's in, incredible. Impressive. Yes. Yeah. I, I didn't see the show any. I just saw some videos there on the social media, but it was interesting, right? So, and I don't know. Am I? In, the, I believe that the first the first time was on the seventy five something like that. So now is the two thousand twenty three. So maybe the next one is going to be in the two thousand one hundred. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be a long no, time. I, I don't <laughs> remember the watch. Yes. Lo determinó el final, la, la, la final, la pasarela final que ella hizo. ¿Cómo, cómo mm. lo hizo? Ahí determinó, creo, el gane. Ok, interesting. So, and the last one was in, in formal dress, or what was that? Bikini, no. Formal, formal dress. Formal dress. Uh, sí, oh. sí, sí. Es la última pasarela que hizo, ya cuando las tres finalistas estaban. Eso la definió. Es que lo hizo de una forma tan, o sea, toda la gente se quedó wow. No ah. sé si lo vieron, alguien lo vio. I didn't see that. Yeah, but <laughs> maybe I'm going to look for that one. So, it's interesting. Eh, yo nunca había visto eso. O sea, si me preguntan los del año pasado, yo no sabía. No, nunca lo veía, solo porque era aquí estaba la, la, ¿cómo se llama? La, eso de que quieres verla, pero tampoco iba a ir a pagar ahí por verla. Ya, yeah, too much money. That's no. not too, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Impressionary. Too expensive. Too expensive. Right? A lot of money. With that money, you can do many things. So, yeah, not good. But anyways, we can see that on the TV, right? Y les so, prometo que el otro año no lo voy a ver. All right. No <laughs> <laughs> porque era aquí. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. I guess a lot of people they were checking on that one. Anyways. Yes. Okay, my friends, we're going to start with a little video. So 
uh, let's check on the video and then uh, tell me your opinions on that one. So let's see how it goes. Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday, where we discuss inventory management issues and we keep the concept small enough that we can fit it onto a whiteboard. I'm Kirk Tanner and I'm Chief Marketing Officer at Fishbowl and today we're going to talk about what is inventory management. Now this drawing here is a very simplified version of what inventory management is, but it's good enough to get our point across. Um, let's start out over here. We get goods delivered that come into receiving. All these items in receiving eventually have to be put away on the shelves. Um, and then later on we're going to pull these items. Some of these items might be pulled to be uh, used in the manufacturing process or we might be involved in wholesale distribution and we'll just pull these goods and we'll send them out to our customers so that they can do things with them. Regardless, uh, wh whether you're a manufacturer and you've got a finished good or you're sending out parts, all those pieces need to be shipped out at some point. Uh, a lot of companies will actually do a manual process to keep track of all of this and accomplish all their business processes. Some are using an automated process. Let's talk about the manual process here for a second. This is very labor intensive. We've got a lot of data that we need to keep track of. This is only a small sampling of the data. Lot numbers, serial numbers, cost, quantity, dates for production, expiration, and shipment. When those goods come into receiving, that data needs to be captured for efficiency purposes and keeping track of your inventory. Um, you move that from receiving over to the shelves and you've got to update all this information that you're tracking. When you pull this, you've got to update it again. So again, if it's a manual process, you're involved a lot in a lot of labor intensive activity to move these items all the way through to pick pack and then ship them. That manual process is very labor intensive. In an automated process, when this truck delivers the goods, you have a couple options. One, if it's a large shipment, you can move it right into receiving and then scan it with a barcode scanner and move it into these locations, scan these locations, and now your automated system knows exactly where all that inventory is. If it's a smaller shipment that arrives, you can skip this whole receiving area and just barcode it right into the places that you put it on the shelves and you know exactly where it is, how much you have, and it's there when you need it. Now when you pull it off the shelves, again, you'll barcode it, it's updating your system, it's going through the manufacturing process, or you're pulling it for distribution, but this whole pick, pack, and ship process that ends up here, you're tracking all of this through this automated system so that when it ships out the door, all of your inventory is dynamically updated and, and is real-time data, which ultimately gives you better information. So our final math here in our accounting terms is we want to increase our tracking efficiency. We want to do a much better job of tracking all the parts that go through your business. We want to de decrease the amount of time you spend doing that. And the result of this is you get much better business information. Now, to run your business, the better the information, the better the business decisions you can make. So having this automated system becomes very, very valuable because of the reports that you can get. Of course, with better uh, business information, better reporting, you get much greater efficiency and you reduce your costs and you have a much better run business. That's it for Whiteboard Wednesday. Join us again next week. Thanks. Okay, what did you get from the video? Any comments? Anything that you checked into that? Maybe he was speaking too fast. In the university. university. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, it was about the process, about the warehouse and things that were right. So it's interesting because uh, they, they can tell you about automation and things. So it was a very nice thing. And so uh, 
you can click on the link on the book and you can watch it there whenever you want. All right, so let's uh, continue with the book. Okay, so we are in unit number four. This is the last unit. As I was telling you, it's very important that you finish uh, the whole platform this weekend that is coming. So, and the uh, last unit here is inventor. Okay, I will be able to explain the relevance of an effective inventory management. And the question number one says, does your company handle items with expiration dates? So is something like that happening in your company? So does your company have items with expiration dates? Do you remember what is expiration dates? Como eh, día de expiración o cierre. Fecha de expiración. Fecha de expiración. Fecha. Very good. Nice. That is it. So, uh, does your company handle items with expiration dates? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In, 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 my, in my office. Is a product there um, or ex, a expiration date is a product the a, a full is a huge is a um any beverage is a it okay. so yeah it's, it's difficult right if you have uh products with expiration dates those products have to be on the market as soon as possible so like fruits vegetables those kind of things you need to get rid of them as soon as possible the next yeah. question is huh? yeah, 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 in 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 Como se dice, algunas um, company is change the product. Um, other companies no change. It's a, a company. In, my company absorb the cost. Yes. That is true. That is true. I mean, depending on the company that you are uh, checking, uh, sometimes, uh, or the product as well, sometimes they, uh, if there is, uh, any product that, uh, that they expire, right? They can exchange that one for new ones. But other companies, they don't do that. So it's very difficult sometimes, right? To manage these kind of things. Yeah, interesting. So the next question says, what happens to products that go out of season or become irrelevant in the market? That is a very good question. For example, umbrellas. Uh, in this time of the year, Nobody's looking for umbrellas, right? But maybe in April, May, everybody's looking for an umbrella. So, but what happens to those products that go out of season? What do you think? You add the second question, teacher? Yeah, the second question. What happens to products that go out of season or become irrelevant in the market? Okay, I think what uh, about some company, I don't, I can say uh, about my company because my company only gives service. But some companies like uh, Selectus, for example, for example, they take a uh, uh, fruit and vegetables, and and they how uh to cook for sell food. And okay. another other other companies to um, I think they put offers 
or give you another uh, companies to sell uh, outlet. Yeah, that is true. That is a good strategy that they do. So there is an outlet, so you can buy products that are out of season or not in fashion anymore, or is relevant, and then uh, they can. There you can get the products for a uh, fifty percent of discount, or something. Like that. So it's a very good strategy. Nice. When the products are on sale for a long time. Uh, they are ready. The mansion, the material is bad. Is um, como se dice como tostado. Uh, yes, el material like... está como tostado. Por ejemplo, los zapatos, shoes. Is mm -hmm. como como is is that la, long time in the in the in the market is tostado así feos. <laughs> <laughs> that that happens. That is true. I mean, sometimes um, those little things that uh, affects. I mean, and then the companies they don't want to lose all the money, so they prefer they prefer to give a discount so everybody gets something on that. Right. So good. Okay. So we have the first conversation on this unit. It says Sarah is asking Ramon some tips on the basics of inventory control. Read the conversation and take turns practicing with the partner. So I'm going to read the conversation, check the pronunciation, and then you are going to practice, and then we're going to check the vocabulary. So how does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it, but you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the iPhone X. Don't do it. Now that the iPhone X is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did and there is a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can sell. Good, any pronunciation questions? No questions. Very good. So let's practice. Let's see how it goes. Uh, we're going to start with Sandra Gomez and Veronica Elizabeth. Okay. And Sarah, Veronica. Okay. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customer when they want it but you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored oh well i was thinking of invent investing and in some new case for the L iphone x don't do it now that the all April X is some store you will not so much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did. And there is a chance in the market you might end up paying for product for products you can't sell. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Now we're going to listen to Maria Julia, and I guess it's not possible for herself. So, uh, Oseas, please, Maria Julia. I'm Sara Oseas. Okay, go ahead. How does how does inventory man management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. But you don't 
you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new new case for the L phone Q. X. 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 Okay. Don't do it. Now the L phone X is on stores. You will need to sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory, because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can't sell. Very good, perfect. Now, Rene Molina in one. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, uh, okay. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have a note. Note uh, product for some inventory to sell to sell to you customer when they when it but you don't want to how to match in your inventory. Or you would be trying a lot of money to have it socket stored. Oh well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the Elfon X. Don't you don't do it now the Elfon X is on store storage. You would you will not sell much. That's one of, of the problem with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because to because you sold you well you could sell more than you did. And there is a change in the market. You mind and up playing Buying or four products you can sell. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Now, Ana Hernandez. And uh, is it possible for you, Monica? Monica Avalos. Ana, Aida Lopez, then. Okay. Okay, Sarah, how does inventory management work, Raymond? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customer when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory, or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some New case for the L phone X. Don't do it. Now that the L phone X is on the stores, mm -hmm. you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you through you could sell more than you did. And there is a change in the market. You may you might enough paying for the product you can sell. Perfect, thank you. Uh, is it possible for you, Mauricio Rivera? No possible, okay. Let's see then. Uh, uh, Jonathan, Ariel, is it possible for you? Mm, not possible, okay. Silvia Patricia, is it possible for you? Teacher. Okay, and Blanca Tunaka. Yes. Okay. How does inventory management works, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customer when they waiting, waiting, but you don't 
want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stressed. Oh, well, I was thinking of invest, investing in some new case for the Elphone X. Don't do it. Now that the Elphone X is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory manage management. When you have too much inventory because you threw you could sell more than you did and there is change in the market. You, you move and are paying for products you can sell. Okay, perfect, thank you. Yeah. All right, let's take some, uh, uh, let's take some pronunciation, okay? Enough, enough. That is very important, pronunciation. Uh, what else, let's see, stored. Okay, let's see. Management. Thought. Mm, and that's it. And let's take some vocabulary. Um, what is enough? Very good, perfect. And what is to sell? Venta. Vender. Vender. Good. Good cost. Let's see. What is paying? Pagando. Pagando. Pagar. Very good. Uh, what is investing? Investigar. Investigando. No caso. Invertir. Invertir. Mm -hmm. No la sabía. Okay. Let's see what else. What is thought? Mm. No es pensar. Pensar, pero en, en pasado, es el pasado de think. Oh. Ok. And, uh, this one is interesting. It says, you might end up. What is that? Mike es un auxiliar. Okay, uh, when you say you might end up, it's like when you say in Spanish, tú podrías terminar. En este caso, pagando. Okay. So you might end up paying for products you can't sell. Good, perfect. Uh, do you have any questions here? Okay, so I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to check uh, the answers for these questions according to the conversation, okay? Uh, check it out, and then we're going to discuss about it.
Okay, so let's check my friends. So the uh, question number one says, why is it important to have enough products in your inventory? So what is the answer for that? Because you need to be able to supply the products when the client uh, requires it. Very good, perfect. So you need to have enough inventory so you can uh, sell in the right moment to the customers that they are looking for that one. So that is very, very important. Number two, it says, is it a good idea to have an excess of inventory? What do you think? I think, I think no, no, it's, it's convenient for the, um, the cost is, is, is a uh, hike. Mm -hmm. The, in, in, mantener un inven inventario. Yeah, it's too expensive. And the product gets too expensive. So definitely is not a good idea. What about and number three, it says, what happens if you have too much inventory and market trends suddenly change? Yeah. Of course, according to the conversation. What do you think? Okay. No. Okay, so the answer for that one is actually very, very easy. It's going to be uh, you might end up paying for products you can sell. That will be the answer for that one. Okay, because you have too much inventory, and then if the market well, maybe we have to check some words here, right? The trends. What is trends? A trend is tendency. And what is suddenly? De repente. Very good. Suddenly, de repente, de repente. So what happens if you have too much inventory and the market trends suddenly change? So then you are, are going to have a lot of product and you won't be able to sell. Definitely, that is the, the answer. Good. Let's check their vocabulary. It says, I match the words related to inventory to their meaning. Uh, of course, I will give you a few minutes for you to check and check the words. There is a, a few words for vocabulary, so let's check it out, okay? And then you share with me the answer.
Okay, so let's check it out. The first one it says a software system used to keep record of inventory levels, orders, sales, and deliveries. So what do you think is that? Uh, is a point of sales post or punto de ventas? All right, so point of sale or POS. Nice, very good. Uh, the next one it says replenish a store with fresh stock or supplies. Uh, so the first question here is what is replenish? Anybody check to that word? What is replenish, my friends? Reponer. Very good. So it's when there is no inventory, so you have to put again the inventory there in the stock. Uh, yeah. What is the restock? Very good. Yeah. Okay. Restock. restock. Nice. Uh, the next one says the time and place where a retail transaction is completed. What do you think is that? A stock. Stock. Um, but that is time and, pla time and place where a retail. Uh, everybody agrees on that one? Okay. Teacher, for, for me, it's, it's possible point of sales. Mm, we checked that already, but it won't be an option for that one. Yeah. All right. So let's check the next one. Items with expiration dates, like food or even cosmetic that mm. they can become rotten or unusual is not sold in time. So here the question is rotten. What is rotten? Teacher, like a damage. It's like damage, yeah. When something is ruined, podrido, that is oh. rotten. Echado a perder. Something like that, very good. So what would be the answer for this one, for number four? Inventory tracking? No, it might not be inventory tracking. Oh, okay, it's, 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 I think it is, it's, pol it's polish. It's number seven. Polish. Uh, actually, it's polish, yeah. Polish. polish, because polish is habla de, de, de cosas deterioradas, so that would be. Oh, okay. okay. Polish, good, perfect. The, uh, this is something interesting. The oldest inventory items are recorded as sold first. What is that? First in, first out. Very good. That is first in, first out. FIFO. That FIFO. is a method. Yeah. Yes, a method. It's a method of inventory. Very good. Okay. Uh, the next one says merchandise kept in a warehouse and available for sale or distribution. What do you think is that? Inventory tracking. Mm, okay, I believe no. inventory tracking is going to be for a software system. So this one oh. actually is going to be stuck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the last one says the amount that should be available at any time for an item. When an item falls below par, it is replenished. What do you think is that? Teacher, this is number, for me, it's number six, par levels. Par levels, very good, perfect. 
Okay, so interesting. We're talking about some vocabulary about this. And we're not going to do the exercise number five. Uh, this is a very good question. So uh, what are some reasons why a company needs to have an effective inventory management? What do you think uh, are reasons why companies have to have a very good inventory management? Teacher, for me, uh, uh, all the companies should be a good method. For example, in the in the last exercise, uh, the method uh, for me is very good, is FIFO. Ah, uh, yeah. This is good for me. Okay, very good. So yes, all the companies, if you are selling some products, you need uh, some like that. Any other comment about this? Uh, what? are three reasons why a company needs to have an effective inventory management. Uh, for me, teacher, it's uh, important is uh, a, an effective inventory man management is uh, for reason the 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 con the control the cost control the unit is um the Point the the sales uh, is a uh, control the uh, existence uh, is a method uh, uh, a method the inventory is depend the is depend the is depend the cada the the for the 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 company is a uh, type the product is a uh, the is a is a is a system the 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 inventory um for example uh, uh, the method the accept the tax uh, is important uh, in my case is a uh, the promise promedius cost is a system use my company okay. very good so yeah, there should be a system. I mean, imagine that a company cannot track uh, their products. I mean, that is a mess, right? So you can lose some products. You, of course, you're going to lose money. The inventory management is one of the most important things that is linked to the warehousing, to the 3PL, and many other things. Okay, so we are going to do a uh, work, a uh, teamwork. So I'm going to uh, create some breakout rooms and you are going to research about inventory methods and tell uh, the class the inventory methods that you uh, were able to research and which one do you believe is the best the best method okay do you have any questions about this yes teacher uh i think that uh, you explained that the 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 work, the homework, uh, I I research the different inventory method mm -hmm. and identify the best method. Yeah, in your opinion, what is the best method of the ones that you research? Our reasons with my yeah. team. Definitely. Like, okay. okay. For example, uh, method uh, pets, uh, method webs. Exactly. So that is the FIFO and the LIFO. Uh, the FIFO is first in, first out. And the last, uh, the other one is last in, uh, first out. So you can research about that one and tell the class what is that about and which one do you believe is the best? Okay, it's clear. Nice. Let's work on that one. I want to listen to you. So let's see how it goes.
Perfect. Welcome back and let's see what did you research. Uh, the first group is Aida Lopez, Ernesto Andrade and Rene Molina. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Uh, with Rene and, and Aida, discuss, discuss uh, a lot of uh, around the best method, uh, inventory method. But um, in in this in this um, this course, uh, we reflect reflections about it, and all methods are very important. It depend the product that uh, we need to move in the warehouse. Uh, for this reason, um, this is one of the of the three methods that in this class teacher and everyone we 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 show we show in this moment for example uh, one method is the method abc the method abc inventory classification method is a is a system to segment and organize the product of a warehouse based on their importance relevant relevance to the company economic value, benefits provided, rotation generate, uh, etc. Uh, but on other hand, and with the ABC classifications, it is intended to prioritize the good of a warehouse more important for the company as they can be the product with greater in impact on the benefit on the company and those that involve greater turnover instead of trading or reference equally or organizing them by size, weight, or quantity. For example, what, uh, what company uh, ap apply the method ABC? For example, department store like Simang, Pricemart, Walmart, Pharmacies, and in the in the same in the same company. Uh, for the next slide, uh, Rene, uh, be continued to the presentations. Okay. The second method is method uh, webs. Is the UFPS. Ultima Is a last in first. Out inventory method is consistent of selling first what internet enters the warehouse last. It's coming from the English term last input first. Oops, 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 oops. Its acronym is L I O F O, which the system ap applies to merchandise that does uh, not experience of, of doesn't not deteriorate of time. For example, uh, Divea, Divea uses the method of webs. The car's inspiration, the client and the, hey, my car is uh, uh, next year's, next, next year's, and uh, for uh, reservate the car. Uh, there are not good or bad or bad metal. Only example for the toes that should be used according to to their nature, nature and storage characteristics. For example, the idea that bicycles that come last are the ones that people are waiting for and are the ones that are and sold first. Yeah. For uh, the cars is the page for anticipate. The cars uh, go go uh, 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 deliver 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 the client. 
es método web. Últimas entradas, primeras salidas. Sí. Eh, Aida explain the second eh, next method. Okay. Um, I don't uh, know much about this kind of method because it's not my area, but I have learned uh, with this, um, with my classmates in this case. And now I'm going to talk about the method PET that it, uh, in, it means first in, first out. And this kind of method, uh, the company uh, received the first product, but uh, is in most of the case, is the first uh, product that is out of the company. Okay, in my personal opinion, um, I don't know uh, what is the, the best method that the company needs to use uh, because according the product, uh, I, I guess is going to be the, the, the method that they, they can uh, uh, use, for example. Okay, uh, maybe it's going to depend the product that company has in in the supermarket, for example, or in the case of the, the idea, okay, because it's different the product that they can uh, sell to the person. Okay, basically in this kind of metal, uh, the priority is uh, sell the first product that they can, they have, and uh, that's all. Thank you. Okay. Very good, very good. So this is very common, actually, the first thing for sale because, of course, of many other reasons. So interesting, and uh, it's very interesting what you mentioned, Renee, about cars. By any chance, do you know if there is an outlet uh, for new cars in any company? I believe that there are cars that are new that they don't sell. Do you know if there is any outlet, outlet for new cars? Anybody? Uh, in the United States? Yes. In El Salvador? I don't. Yeah, maybe not. Right? So something happens with those cars, but I don't know what happens. <laughs> okay. Very good, perfect, nice presentation. Next group is Blanca and Oseas. Okay. Okay, we are going to talk about uh, inventory management and we decide to choose safety stock metal. What is the safety stock metal? Safety stock simply is inventory that is carried to prevent stockouts. Stockouts stem from factor, factors such as fluctuating customer demand, forecast inaccuracy, and Variability in lead times for raw materials or manufacturing. And Blanca Tunac is going to, to talk about um, the cost of inventory. Okay. Good night. Night. Um, wafer average cost. Uh, the, um, in accounting, a uh, wafer average cost is an inventory valuation method that use a uh, weighted weighted average to establish the amount that goes into the cost of offered resource and inventory. The weighted average cost device the cost of resource usable for marketing by the number for, of, of elements available for sales. This method is permitted under generally accepts balance sheet accounting and the universal lender research standards. Next uh, the slide. This is formula 
for uh, calculate the um, weighing average cost. Below, below is the, the tile formula to calculate the weighted average cost. Weighted average cost for per unit um, cost of goods sold and devising units available for sales. For example, the um, applicate the formula uh, in calculation of weighted uh, weight average cost. Um, example. Um, in in for example, um, a weighted weighted average cost for per unit. Uh, thirty hundred, but um, one hundred device in the in seven six 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 hundred is um, the result is um, cost weighted uh, average cost is um. Forty forty one point six seven dollars. Uh, after the the sales, the unit one hundred twenty one units is in January. The cost would be as follow. Uh, one hundred one um that uh, fifty one point six seven dollars uh, how do you see igual teacher equals 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 is um, six hundred to to five six point seven uh, seven six seven in cost of good of offered uh, thirty one hundreds hundreds uh -huh. um remind relation uh, is the finish teacher okay very good interesting this method is also very very interesting and you can see that there are many inventory methods so that's nice okay the next one is Juan Roberto Mauricio Rivera and Veronica Elizabeth Okay, good evening. Uh, well, Veronica and me are talking about five inventory valuation methods. Mm -hmm. And one, and the, the first one is um, first in, first out, or FIFO, is an easy, accurate, and quite logical inventory valuation method. It is based on the assumption that products purchased from the supplier or produced are sold first. Therefore, the FIFO method takes the cost of the oldest inventory as the basis of the COGS or cost of goods sold formula. Uh, the next is the last in, first out, or WEPS method is the opposite of FIFO. It assumes that the newest, the newest product sells first. Under the WEPS method, inventory that was purchased remains on, on the company's balance sheet while newer items are sold. The WEPS method is used in the USA since it is, since it is acceptable according to GAAP regulations. And the next is the CPP inventory valuation method stands for weighted average cost. Under the CPP method, a retailer estimates a weighted average by dividing the COGAs by the number of items available. The retailer can then have a hand uh, the picture of available inventory and average between the newest and oldest products. 
And now, Veronica, continue. Bye, hello, teacher. Okay, I will continue with the other two methods to inventory. I would have, I will say about, uh, uh, the first is ABC. Uh, the, this method to analyze for inventory, um, the meaning is A, um, expense inventory accurate control required, and B, moderate value inventory, moderate control required. And the C is low cost inventory and minimum control required. Okay, this, this method consists, this is analysis, analysis is um, which inventory is divided into three categories, A, B, and C in the same value. The ear items in the uh, a category have the highest value. B cat category items are of lower value than A and C category items have the lowest value inventory control and manage are critical for our business. But we have another another method. He, I find uh, for the much people is the best. The best method, uh, <clears throat> the better E O Q. Uh, in Spanish, we, we speak uh, CEP. Okay, <clears throat> this method, E, O, Q, meaning quantity of material which can be purchased at minimum cost. And it is the size of the lot to be purchased, which is economical, Economic monthly by builder. E the framework used to determine this order quantity. Uh, I I read it the both, but I I I think that the better is the O E O Q because it's the meaning or I find is considered the simplest method to control inventories and also known as EOQ, economic order which it is a use to know when the product is the warehouse show the replacement and what the precise quantity will be. Okay. Okay, very good, very nice. You sent lots of them and also uh, you choose one, so very, very good, interesting. Thank you. Uh, and the last one is going to be Maria Julia, Monica Ablos, and Sandra Gomez. Okay. Um, for we, the method, the, 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 the inventory method that uh, management uh, a company inventory, uh, they are important uh, important because the because they record the the input the the input and output of the product to to, to, to the sales of the of the product. Um, the best method will will depend on the activities each the, the the company because for the some the 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 weight average cost will be will be perfect um for the other companies is a first entrance first departure or the product um and or or last between first departure um and and, and also in, in El Salvador is depend on the the wish are the tax accepting is a is is a is a method uh, I use uh for Sandra is continue. Okay. Okay. For example, in a restaurant, the pet inventory method is to use it since the type of product used. 
they are perishable is perecedero, teacher? Perishable. Perishable. Perishable, sure. As fruit, vegetable, and meat, the first in, first out method yeah. is appropriate for this type of the business. Or, or another example is in products uh, of clothing, clothing. The way they are cost metal is used. Uh, for example, is a by friend at X amount. This day and tomorrow I buy uh, some price at, at another price. The two price are added and divided to about the average cost of the product. In my opinion, there is no one method better uh, than another is dependent on the type of the product and which are prepared for a company feature. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you everybody for all the uh, exposition of the methods. It's very interesting, right? So, for first of all, we have analyzed that it's important to have an inventory method. It's very important because if you don't have any, uh, it's a big problem. Another thing is that it's going to depend. It's going to depend on the product, service. Also, it's going to depend on what you want to achieve, right? And another thing that is very important to choose the best inventory method is uh, the costs and the price. Because, yeah, I mean, depending on the product and the costs you are going to identify will be the best solution. Though. And... Uh, yeah, there are many. I mean, depending on the product that you're saying, as I believe somebody said about restaurant, that is one of the most difficult because you need to buy enough food. You need to uh, know, for example, how many tomatoes are going to be used for a sauce and knowing uh, how much of that sauce is going to be in one of the dishes. So to calculate the portions to calculate the rotation of the inventory is, is not easy. Uh, of course, there are other products or other companies where it's a little bit easier, but in my, uh, a place where a supermarket, for example, in the supermarket, there are thousands of products. Uh, I mean, and it's very, it's very difficult. Uh, some, many of them are perishable. Sometimes, some of them is two or three years in the future, but some others is just a few months or a few days. So like fruits or vegetables, right? So they really need to have different inventory methods for different products inside of the supermarket. But because it's not the same, the management of the inventory for toilet paper than to uh, manage meat or to manage um, sodas, for example. So inside of the same place, we can have a mix of different inventory methods. But it's very interesting. It's very good. Nice. Another thing that I believe that you have noticed is that everything that we study here in the English classes for work is important, right? I mean, when we check about human resources, we know that is a very important part. Is If we speak about uh, I don't know, uh, marketing Marketing is very important because you touch people, right? Here we're speaking about warehousing, inventory, and things like that is very important. So when you are going to run a business, everything is important. To create a master plan is very important. To understand not only the product or the customer, but to understand the market is very, very important. So, and uh, that's why sometimes companies in El Salvador, they don't success. They, they, they don't succeed about running a business because people here in El Salvador, the most common is that you say, uh, this is a very good business. Let's do it, right? I'm going to invest. But it's not that simple. We need to analyze many aspects. The legal aspect, accounting, investment, suppliers, methods, 
So if you really want to run a business and you want to be successful, everything inside of the master plan is so, and it's very good that, uh, I mean, I know that you are expert in some areas, but uh, when you see this situation, you see that everything is very, very important, right? So, very nice. Uh, okay, so we have a few minutes so we can check a little conversation with somebody. Let's see who's going to be. Uh -huh. um, Sandra. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> you are very happy that you were selected for this little conversation. Yes, yes, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Five well. minutes, but long. I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, uh, practice okay. is very okay. important in English. So this is like driving a car, right? Uh, the more yes. that you practice, the better that you get. So yes, yes, teacher, I understand. It's practice is important. It's very, very important. Uh, I know practice. I no tengo con quien practicar. Um, I you don't have anybody to practice with. Yes, entonces pues no, <laughs> no puedo. Okay. This it's is important. the moment. <laughs> I I see series movies in english i i watch uh, my phone no watch it's here my phone when right right conversation in english um this um, una persona que es como sueca sí sí sueca y tiene un canal de youtube is spectacular with it's talking about um Colombians, a uh, Mexican uh, people, different people, uh, the different country. Uh, uh, here, com conversation with uh, English. Uh, the this person is perfect, um, aunque sean Latinos. Okay, I I hear. It. And my phone was right. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Everything that you do is very, very good. So, uh, yes. yes. I believe that sometimes when we are learning English, we have different methods because there are many different things that we can do. And it's very yes. good that you are doing things that you enjoy. That is, I believe, one of the most important things uh, you need to yes. enjoy by practicing. Okay. Yes, I... I my my sister is is living in United States, but she no good uh, talking in English. In she 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 talk um in USA, but my no 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 le gusta. You no, I don't like no no sé por qué. Really? <laughs> yes. But, but she speaks in English then in the US. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is a necessity, right? Sometimes if but, you go to other. Yes, it's necessary for you for for she for her, her hers. Yes, for her for for working. Okay, um, and my my pronunciation is bad. <laughs> yes, my. <laughs> no, I was going to say that. Everybody has different accents and pronunciation. Latin American accent, I mean, when you go to the other countries, uh, they know that you are from Latin America, depending on the way that you speak. So that is for sure. That is uh, maybe only if you live 10 years in another country, maybe then it's going to disappear, right? But other than that, it's going to be there forever. Uh, and we yeah, here in yeah. the class, we have different levels of people. So the most important thing is to practice. If you practice, yes. everything will be fine. And okay. in mind, in mind that right now you spoke a lot and, and uh, it was very fluent, very nice. So that is very good. Oh, okay. yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> very yes, good. I, I, uh, I help me um, watch TV in English for channel, my favorite channel. Is universal. Uh, antes, 
Before? Before in Spanish, I see. Now, in English, I see channel. Okay, and good. In, uh, my phone, uh, in English, everything. <laughs> nice, that's the way it is. So yeah, congratulations. Yeah. I mean, that is the best way that you can do. Practice, practice the, the best uh, thing. And if you continue doing that one, of course, you're going to get whatever you want. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you for, for, for elegirme. <laughs> ah, okay. Of course. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It was a pleasure. Okay. So, uh, okay, my friends, it's time to go to bed for a little while. Uh, it's just a little moment, so tomorrow we have to go to work. And uh, let's check the attendance, okay? Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Present. Good. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodríguez. Present. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Here, teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, sir. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceitino Méndez. And Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, teacher. Good. All right, my friends, it was fantastic to be here with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow in Dream in English. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, everyone. teachers. See have you. a nice night. So do you.